So today, I, I'm pretty excited that we're going to go through and we're going to use and practice all the engineering design processes. Okay, Ima ask, imagine, plan, create, and improve. We're going to use this process and keep this in the back of our mind and you're going to do some um, product research. So what are your four favorite kinds of juice? Tell me, just, start, just tell me your favorite. Taryn. Cherry, blue raspberry, grape, and green apple. Why? Because I like the taste of them. And okay, you like the taste of them. All right, so taste is a, something, an important property. Does anyone else have another reason why they like the juice that they like? Besides the flavor? So taste is really important to people. Sarah? I like the smell. You like the smell. So the fragrance is important to you. All right, so we have today some um, uh, engineer, chemical engineer from the Creative Juices Company. And we're going to listen and read about what they're going to ask us to do. And then we'll go, go over the requests and we'll decide exactly how we can accept this challenge. Are you ready? Product research means finding out what consumers like about a product and what they don't like. After I collect and analyze all of my data or information from consumers, I make recommendations to the Creative Juices Company about the best way to make different kinds of juice. Today, I need your help doing some product research on a new juice flavor that Creative Juices has decided to sell. What is it Jenny's asking us to do? What is it Jenny's asking us to do, Kayla? Fill out an application for the most popular flavors that they like. Do we want to do flavors? Kinds and colors. Colors, colors, absolutely right, good. So why do you suppose it's important to do this research? Do you think M&Ms just said, oh, we're getting rid of brown and we're putting in blue? No, no Noah, what do you think? I'm just seeing what the, cons the consumer is like. Right, to see what the, why would that be important to see what the consumer's like? Because they're the ones that buy the product. Right, they're the ones that buy the product. What are your ideas about how we can do this? Teresa? Food coloring. So we have food coloring. All right, I have some food coloring. So what questions, if we're using the design process to solve this problem, our problem is what color juice, right? So that's what we're asking. What, what else should we ask? Brett? What's their favorite color for the food coloring? So what do you mean by what's the, who, who are we going to ask? The consumers. So where are we going to get consumers? Sayara? In the schools. In the schools. So do you think, so did I understand you when you said we should take, ask people. What do you call that when you ask people something? Um, a survey. A survey. So you think we should take a survey and say, Sayara thinks we should take a survey of people in the school. We're going to use water, food coloring to make juices. Brett says we're going to take a survey of people. Okay. I thought we should use a tally chart and that we should like ask them what color would look like tempting to drink. So you think we should come up with some sample colors? Yeah. But I love what you said about that tally chart. Would that be an easy way to take a survey? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So I happen to have, just happen to have, okay, some colors, food coloring. Well, we need to come up with three colors. Okay, what colors would be good to start with? Um, red and blue. Well, tell us about your background with red and blue. What do you know about red and blue from your background knowledge? Um, they, um, if you mix them together, they make purple. Purple, okay. Do you think that would be a good color to start with? Now, how many people have had purple juice? Okay, what is the kind of juice that we're making though? Strawberry orange. Strawberry orange. So that is excellent background knowledge uses. Perfect. Re using those colors, primary colors, they're going to make purple. But if we're making, if you're a marketing company, you're going to market strawberry orange. How do you feel if you were going to the store to buy strawberry orange juice being purple? It would be a little bit weird because strawberries and oranges are orange and red. Okay, so do, would that be confusing to the consumer? All right, so what would you suggest given that amount of knowledge? Yellow and red. Yellow and red? Okay. 
I'm gonna do. Does it matter the amount from your background knowledge of of how much I put in each? It, oh, you're going like this. Why are you making that face? Like, oh yes, it's seriously, Teresa. Why? Because it could come out a dark color or a light color. It could come out a different color than what you want. So proportions are important. So I'm gonna start with six, just to give us two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it looks like a jellyfish. There it is. Whoa! Okay. So if you were voting in the survey, that would be the one? That's the one. I am very proud of you. Nice job. All right, so you have our recipes, our, our um, ratio, actually. So again, we're using math. Did we say chemical engineers use math? So it's a ratio. What is our question we're trying to answer today? Sarah. Um, you want a color for the juice, and you want to know if the consumers would buy the colors of the strawberry orange juice. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come right in, have a seat on our lovely, most comfortable floor. Thank you so much for giving up your time, all right? Our, ha our friend Lily here is going to describe for you what we're doing, all right? If you have any questions, we'll answer your questions and then we need some information from you. Okay, <coughs> Lily, go ahead. Today in class, we were testing all the different types of juices and figuring out which color would be the most appealing and you would want to buy for a juice. What we're going to do is this. We have color A, color B, and color C. They're pretty similar. So what we need from you is, if you're going to go to the store and buy juice, which one of these would you pick? Sure. Which juice would you drink? Or which one would you pick? Me? Jason. A. C. B. B. All right, so how many of you go um, with your parents to the store to pick out things? And how many of you pressure or convince or cajole your parents to get what you want? Mm. <laughs> yeah, so you're pretty good. So taking market research, your opinion is pretty valuable, right? All right, thanks a lot, guys. How are we going to make this data meaningful and useful? How are we going to commute, um, communicate to the juice company? Um, you can communi communicate to the juice company by how, like how much each one got for tally. So you're going to report your data to the juice company. What tools? What visual tools do people use to communicate data? A bar graph. A bar graph. Excellent. You go, girl. Awesome. So simple, simple questions that we're going to say. All right, which do they like the most? C. And how do you know that C was the most? Because um, they have more checks than B and A. What would make this even more valuable? We surveyed, how many did we survey, um, Sayara? Fifteen. Fifteen. So what would make it even more valuable? Noah. Ask everybody. Survey more people. If we surveyed the whole school, wouldn't that give you, like, stronger data? Com Excellent. So we're going to communicate our data. Um, I wasn't really surprised because a lot of people like dark colors, but I out of my opinion, I wouldn't think that C would be like a strawberry orange color. Mm -hmm. All right, so now what we're going to do is the final step that Morgan had suggested was to communicate to the president. All right, so how many of you are familiar from fourth grade with, should this be a business letter or a friendly letter? Business? Okay. All right. Excellent job, boys and girls, today. Excellent job. Okay. I think they enjoyed it thoroughly. I think that it surprised me how they, when prompted, let, well, let's get a group of people to come in here, and that really worked. I think the only thing that was difficult if, was getting them to understand the concept of um, product research that I don't think it ever occurred to them that companies actually collect research before they make a new product. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was a pretty good life experience.